One of the most important things that the consumers of software or the licensees of software can do is to build a good foundation based on sound data. In the case of software, you have the publisher that's the seller of the software and the buyer of the software that's the consumer. However, there's been mystery shrouded in the middle of that supply chain, making the waters very, very murky in the past due to the complexities of the way software is procured, the way software is licensed, and also the way it's distributed. Software compliance activities are an outgrowth of this mystery and they're very costly for both sides. They're protracted, they are guesswork at best, both the publisher and the consumer do not understand what they have on either side and it becomes a very contentious relationship with neither party liking it very much. You really don't know how to comply if you don't know exactly what you have and you don't have some standards put around it. Only through tagging can you accomplish true compliance with standards of naming conventions and eliminate the guesswork. Software negotiations are the time when the consumer of software has an edge. As an aggressive software user advocate, I would subscribe that you require tags from your publishers for any software you have. If the publisher does not have tags for new software, you should have it linked to an audit clause or a penalty clause that gives some sort of audit requirements or audit breaks for not having tagging. If they do have tagging, the audit clause should be more lenient toward the publisher. In addition, with an RFI or an RFP, when you put that out and you're bidding one publisher against another, the publisher that has tags in their software should be given the competitive advantage. The reason to sign this open letter to publishers is that the time for tagging is now. Publishers do not recognize and are not quickly adopting tagging practices because they're telling us that nobody's asking for it. Well, this is your chance to ask for it. It's time for you to sign the letter with your name and your company name if you can. If you cannot, there is a way to do that as well to send the letter off to as many colleagues, associates, software management practitioners, LinkedIn, Facebook people that you know that are in the industry to get a groundswell so that these publishers understand that this is coming and it's important and that you're going to put this in your contracts and you're going to link your audit clauses to it and you're going to change the whole way the supply chain and negotiations work. This is why you need to sign this letter now.